Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Happy Thursday. I'm trying to remember even what day we're on today. Happy Thursday. Happy Valentine's Eve. Today we are going to talk about love and marriage. You do not have to be married to get anything from this. Um, you don't have to have a significant other to get anything from this. So I highly suggest just listening anyways. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Eleanor. Des Daily Dose, episode 24. Excited to share with you guys. Good morning, Nate. Uh, it's such a beautiful day. I'm getting ready to get a massage really quick. It's important to take care of your body, especially when you work out. And then I am taking the little guy over to Knott's Berry Farm. So it's a non-training day. What is up, you guys? So we're going to talk about love and marriage. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to hop on here. Um, tomorrow, I'm super excited. So tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on here. So make sure that you guys tune in tomorrow for that giveaway. Good morning, Courtney. What is up, everybody? Hope you're having a great start to your Thursday so far. And so, yeah, so I wanted to talk about love and marriage today. And I thought it was kind of just in the perfect time with Valentine's uh, tomorrow. And so the first thing I want to say is Valentine's Day is just an absolutely overrated holiday. Um, we should be the kind of affection and love that we show to other people on Valentine's Day is something that we should be showing every single day. Why is it just down to one holiday that we're actually should be sharing any kind of love with people, right? Makes sense. Good morning, Beth. Uh, aloha. Good morning, Shannon. And so I think it's important to um, especially show your spouse on a regular basis how much they love, how much you love them, how much you care for them. Um, same thing with your kids. Uh, you know, the only thing different that we really do on Valentine's Day is um, I usually try to do like uh, just a family dinner at home and kind of because I have all boys so I kind of try to show the boys what it would be like to have like an elegant dinner so do the candles and stuff like that so that way as they get older hopefully they will treat their ladies similar so we can only hope right <laughs> well um, Damon are actually we're celebrating Valentine's Day tonight because one, it's, t like I said, tomorrow is super overrated. Everything is so expensive. It's, like, ridiculous that restaurants hike up prices, and then you only have a set menu. So um, we actually have dinner reservations tonight. But um, making sure that you do spend and you do tell the person that you love, like, on a regular basis, and just shower them with affection. It doesn't have to be an anniversary. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be their birthday. Um, you know, it's really nice to get flowers just because, or even a card, even if it's like a homemade card, even if it's like a, on a post-it note, <laughs> you know, girls, I would say are probably like the easiest people to please if you just did it kind of right. I mean, we are not any particular specimen. We don't need to be like. I've got, I can't even think of the word that I want to use, but, um, we don't need like a lot of things. I mean, I'm sure there's some people that are super materialistic and need a ton of crap on a regular basis, but that's just not a way that shows like love and affection. It's little things daily. And, um, you know, I kind of, I am very guilty at this. I'm not the perfect wife. Um, when Damon and I first got together, I used to leave him, um, little notes everywhere, um, even in his car, just, you know, random things. And I kind of got away from that. And, um, so like I said, I'm not the perfect wife. <laughs> so need to get back to doing those kind of things because it makes our spouse feel good. It makes them feel loved, right? Even you can do this with your parents, you know, um, you know, I talk about my mom being passed away for a long time, but I still have my dad and my stepdad who I'm really close with, which I'm actually going to knots with my dad today. Um, because spending time with your loved ones is super important that that's the best thing that you can give them is your time. Um, and it's really hard for even like us, uh, Damon and I, his mom lives in Texas and we're in California and we, 
you know, we don't talk to that often. And so it's kind of sad. Good morning, Uncle Henry. Good morning, uh, Jen. So yeah, absolutely respected too. And so that goes on another thing. Let's touch on that, Beth, about respect is not talking bad about your spouse. So David and I are a perfect example. And you guys know this. We are very different on how we see things. Um, and so I even have a hard time being, if somebody says something bad about him because of how he is when it comes to like his strong beliefs of, you know, food and everything. I have a really hard time backing some of that up. So the best thing that I can do is just honestly is probably not obviously not saying anything bad about him and his beliefs because those are his own beliefs, right? And those are the things that he believes in, but I'm not going to go and I'm not going to say anything bad about him. It's, it's his belief and his belief is fine, you know, in his eyes. And some people believe that too, but in some cases I feel differently about things and that's okay. It doesn't make any of us wrong, right? So, um, just being there to like support your spouse, support your, your parents, um, even like your friends, you know? So just showing that like love and affection on a regular basis. Um, you know, a great example and Damon and I, uh, for us. So I, Damon got me this beautiful wedding ring when we got engaged. Right. And, um, as I'm evolving, I don't want like flashy things like this anymore. (laughs) As weird as that sounds. So I actually just had started to just wear my wedding band, right? So I just was wear my wedding band, my beat up knuckles. And um, so that actually bothered him because for him, that was a sign that I didn't like value our marriage or I didn't think that, um, you know, like I'm trying to like not show people that I'm married or something. So for his sake, I'm wearing my, my ring again, and it has nothing to do with that. I just want to be more simple. I think a lot of times people want to have that flashy things because it's all about comparing yourself to one another who has a bigger ring, and I'm so not like that. So I just told him, I said, maybe you had our 10-year anniversary or something. Maybe you can just get me just an, another wedding band. Like, let's exchange this for a wedding band because <laughs> I do not want to have a rock. For one, I'm in the gym all day long. Doesn't make any sense. And two, I just don't want to be like flashy. So really like what's the point? So um, in the end, a ring is a ring and it's it's a symbol of love. So it doesn't really even matter what it looks like to be honest with you, right? Good morning, Pecky. Good morning, Jen. Hey, Michael. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, Georgina. Um, and then going back to love and marriage, you guys, is it is just like parenting the hardest job ever (laughs) because you always have to take the other person into consideration in everything that you do. And that is really hard, especially when you are super set in your ways and they're set in their ways. You got to compromise a little bit. You guys got to come together uh, and you got to constantly work on it, growing it every single day. Um, Whether that's just a hug or a kiss or um, leaving them a cute note or sending them a cute text message. I mean, it's just so easy to just do like something like that little every single day. And I think a lot of us get away from doing that stuff. Um, especially if you've been married for a long time, you know, they always say when you first get married, Oh, they're still in their honeymoon stage. Cause they're so lovey dovey and kissy kissy. And then you see these other people that have been married, like whatever. And, um, but you can tell the, the marriages that actually work are the couples that work on their marriage because they've been married 20 years and they're still lovey-dovey, kissy, going on dates, having a lot of fun. And so I'm sure everybody wants that. And if you don't work on your marriage every single day, it can slowly just start to disintegrate into nothing to where you don't want to be with each other, to where you're not happy. And then bam, somebody gives you attention from outside your marriage. And then you want to kind of jump sh- jump ship out of your marriage into this other person. And if you just would have worked on your marriage, you guys would have been happy together. Now, sometimes I, I get it. There are super toxic marriages. Not everybody is meant for each other. I get it. But if you can honestly say that you 
have tried and you spent a ton of time and um, got a third party opinion, I mean, and you work on it every single day, like honestly say that you put in the time and effort every single day to work on making your better, your better, I can't even tell your marriage better then, and it didn't do anything, then Hey, right. Exactly. Georgina, the grass is green wherever it's watered. So you got to water it daily. Like my husband and I, we, we have four kids like, and we don't see eye to eye on the kids and the, you know, some of us, we, I side on one kid and he's like against one kid. And so we butt heads on that kind of stuff. And, um, and I also work with him at the gym all the time and we're home all together. We're home at all the time together cause we work from home. And so you would never think that like, oh, we really needed like a date night because we're always together. Well, that's not the case. So we try to make sure we do date nights twice a week. And, um, the goal in these date nights is to not talk about kids and to just talk to each other, um, because we see each other, it's kind of like, so what's going on? What's going on? We already usually know. So we just talk about other things. Um, so yes, Courtney, the five love languages, that is a great book. We read that book together, um, a couple years ago and that is super great. Cause what our love languages, like for Damon and I example, we have a different love language than each other, but my love language is like acts of service. So I would like him to do small things around the house. That's what makes me happy. But for him, his is like affirmations and personal touch. So we always tend to do things for other people that is our own love language and not theirs. So if I'm not telling him that oh, he's like a great husband or he's a great dad or like, I'm so proud of you and I appreciate you. If I'm not saying those things, then his love meter and his love tank is not getting filled up because I'm not telling him those things. Instead, I'm just like um, washing up after his uh, dishes or sweeping the floor, which are acts of service, which would make me happy, right? But he doesn't see those things because those aren't important to him. So like even when I do those things, like he doesn't realize it because it's not something that makes his love tank and love meter fill up. So I highly suggest doing the, the, uh, reading the five love languages together. And then also they have a workbook that you can do, which is really cool. Um, they even have this thing called the, I like book and Damon did, uh, we did this for years to where every single day we wrote something in it that says like what I like about you. And it's really cute to go back like years later and then to go and, and to look at that book and read it together. It's like, oh yeah, you know, those are, are things that we need to remember because we get so far away from those things. You know, when you have been married for a longer, longer period, if you aren't constantly watering it, right? So, um, show your spouse, show the person that you love and care about, whether it's your girlfriend maybe a friend you want to be girlfriend or your spouse and just show them every day on a regular basis, kind of how much you care and feel, feel about them. So whether I told you like a post-it note with a cute little message on it or a text message, a card in the mail, like even if they live with you, you can send them a card in the mail. <laughs> I think that would be kind of cute. Um, just say, Hey, I'm thinking about you. Love you. And I think you're awesome. It's just so easy. So don't let Valentine's Day tomorrow just be the only day that you share love with people. Let people know how much you love and care about them every day on a regular basis. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow I'm going to do a giveaway. So make sure you tune in at 830. So right on time so you don't miss it and um, have a wonderful day. All right, you guys, I will talk to you tomorrow.